came back to life as a tree monster. Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. Welcome to the island of forgotten scientists, Harry. From Hell It Came opens with the dramatic execution of native chief Kimo. You have caused the death of your own father, once our mighty chief. Funny how even the most dramatic scene can be ruined by the presence of chickens. I promise you all, I shall come back from hell and make you pay for your crimes. And he does come back. <laughs> as a killer tree. They called it Tabanga. Tabanga, what does that mean? But that's jumping ahead. American doctors on a South Sea island are trying to cure a plague. And what do we find? Plague. That's what's killing off the natives. It's not the fallout. And downplay the effects of nuclear tests in the area. We've checked the radiation on this island. It's only 3.05 Rentkin. Hardly any more than an ordinary dental x-ray. And it's not like you wear a lead apron for that. She's recovering from the plague, but seems to have suffered a slight radiation burn also. See? Slight. They think of it as some kind of devil dust. A curse brought on by the evil Americans. Ignorant savages. No wonder the doctors have brought along some of the trappings of civilization. Ever since the old chief died, the natives have been staring at us with hate in their eyes. I'm not sure what's more surprising, the fact that they brought a gas stove with them, or the fact that, apparently, there was a gas hookup available. Who knows? Science doesn't have all the answers yet. If their attitude towards the natives seems condescending, just wait till women get involved. Why did I have to fall in love with a dedicated female scientist? Female scientist? Oh, you mean domestic science? She considers marriage some kind of prison. You should teach her a lesson. You know, sometimes I could kick her beautiful teeth in. Maybe try talking to her first. But you want a husband? Children? Like other women? Come on, be a proper woman. We brought a stove here for you. That's one of the advantages of living in this primitive area. You can give your girl a fortune in flowers, and it doesn't cost a cent. As Dr. Cheapass fails to sweet talk his love interest, a strange tree is growing from Chemo's tomb. This tallies with the lateral pulse. It's a human heartbeat. A very strange tree. Norgu, what you fear is scientifically impossible. Got to admire this guy's ability to patronize the natives while standing next to a tree with a heartbeat. That's not normal. Depends on what you call normal. How does this happen? The radiation dormant in the monster must have set off a chain reaction. Surely not. There's hardly more than an ordinary dental x-ray. Holy mackerel! Despite native warnings, they dig up the tree and take it back to the lab. The pulse is weak. It's dying. So they hook it up to an IV. Take a risk and see what happens. Good attitude. That went well. Maybe the Tabanga is for real. So the natives were right, although now they seem to have trouble believing it. Well, how do you know it was Tabanga? Nah, it could have been any walking tree. Are you sure it was the Tabanga? Are walking trees a big problem on this island? Their superstitions are so deep-rooted. Yes, I know. The Tabanga now kills. How do you miss at that distance? It's the Americans. They cut the roots to free the Tabanga. He's right. This is the doctor's fault. The monster's still alive. I knew my formula would work. I was right. Yeah, it's been a big success. Oh, no. I, I just wanted it to live. The natives told you this would happen. Don't blame yourself, Terry. Not when there's so many other people who could do it for you. Maybe the natives can deal with it. The bongo will die. Awesome. Wait, where are you going? You're not going to stay and check? I'm now wondering if this film is actually a clever satire on colonialism. Think about it. Force your help on people who don't want it. The stupid blind ignorance and those drones. Make things much, much worse. Then, when your interference has forced them into a position where they beg for your help. Please help us. We cannot kill the Tabunga. Use that to justify the whole exercise. We've got to help these people. 
Although colonialism is usually associated with the British. Are there any British characters? I have nightmares the rest of me natural life. The Ethans, they ought to drop a blooming hydrogen bomb in them all and now, blow Mr. them to Kilgore, pieces. please, try to control yourself. <laughs> nope. Why, that's right nice of you, ducky. Still, I think my satire theory is looking pretty good. It all depends on the ultimate moral. We know now American magic is better. Right. Not a satire, just a bad monster movie with hideously outdated attitudes and a truly unbelievable way of killing the monster. Maybe if you can get that knife with the bullet, it'll drive it clear through the monster's heart. Real Hard Corners subscribe. Uh, from Hell It Came uh, wasn't a clever satire, but it could have been. Can you think of any other B-movies that might be harbouring some serious message? And what are they? Thanks for watching. No, the blooming cannibals, they stuck a knife right in his heart.